Amen. Let's believe the Lord together. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We are gathered in your presence to hear from you. And how we know that when we come to you, you will give us a turning around. We will not go out the same way we came in. And so we know that you have anointed our sister Jane to speak to us. We, you, we know that you will speak through her, oh God, so that we may know that which you have in store for us. We thank you because you'll give us uh, give her utterance, and even as we hear, we know that you'll give us that which is from you. Fresh oils, fresh anointing is what we ask of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. I'm so happy to be here this morning. Initially, I used to be Jane Loki. Uh, but now I'm Jen Kimani, 12 years in marriage, and Mr. Kimani is there. Mr. Kimani, wave at the people. <laughs> amen, amen. Please worship. Come, we worship with one chorus. We are in worship. Tell your, tell your friend, today we are here for a good thing. The Lord is going to speak to us. Because he has a word for us. And that's why he has waken you very early in the morning. Mm. You know, there is a saying that says, the holy bird catches the worm. So today I know you are here for a word, and God is going to speak to us. Praise God. This is the year of open heavens. The year of open heavens. Amen. This is a worship that I like that says, we have just come to lay our crown before you. Praise God. Doesn't matter the title we have in our working place. It doesn't matter what we do. But we have come before the Lord to lay our crowns and to tell him that we worship him. Praise God. Amen. Please, what will help us in that? One, two. Be lifted above love According to our word, our Father. Open our hearts, oh my Father. Lord, I pray there will be a connection between the heart, oh Lord, and your people this morning. Use me as a vessel, my God. This morning, my God, use me as a vessel. I'm just but a vessel to 
deliver your word to your people, my Father. And that is what I'm praying this morning. Lord, I'll be here with Jesus. We thank you because you're going to speak to us. We thank you because Holy Ghost, you are here to take over in every situation and to give us a new move, my Father, because that is what you are doing in the year 2019. We praise you and we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Love to Jesus. You may have your seats. Thank you. Cornerstone. Uh, I'm a teacher in Cornerstone. I've been there for the last 15 years. And it's the best school in Kenya. Praise God. I just love Cornerstone. I'm in love with Cornerstone. Praise God. And I thank God I'm also a parent there by the grace of God. Praise God. Uh, today God has given me a, a sermon entitled, How to Experience Open Events Through Sacrificial Obedience. Praise God. We are talking about, in the year 2019, we are talking about open events. And today we are speaking about how to experience open events through sacrificial obedience. Praise God. No sacrifice means you are ready to do it no matter the threat. No matter the... So we are not just talking about obedience. We are talking about obedience, sacrificial obedience. Tell your friend that. Sacrificial obedience. Praise God. And you're going to look at a few characters from the Bible that are, have really inspired me. And from there we learn something. So today we are looking at open heavens. And we are going to look at Abraham. Praise God. So the media please give me Genesis 22. Genesis 22, 11. Okay, let me read. He said, here I am. Continue, please. And he said, do not lay your hand on the hand. Do not lay your hand on the land or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God. Since you have not withhold your son, your only son from me. Praise God. Okay, we, 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 when we read that, all of us know that story. But as I was going through it, I learned that uh, Abraham offered a sacrificial obedience to God. Praise God. Through faith and God blessed him. That is in verse 18b. When Abraham was, called, was told by God to go and sacrifice, he was ready. And when you read that story, you learn that he told his son that God, will, God is going to provide for himself. Praise God. The son asked the father, where are we going to get the lamb to sacrifice? And the, the father told him, God is going to provide for him, for, for us a sacrifice. Praise God. That is in Genesis 28, 22, 8. Let's just read there. Genesis 22, 8. And Abraham said, my son, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering. So the two of them, of them went together. Praise God. So uh, Abraham had a revelation of who God is. Who God is. Praise God. That's why he obeyed God. He said he, uh, he obeyed God. He gave a sacrificial obedience to God. He was lady. Imagine, I was imagining uh, I have one daughter, a beautiful queen called Queen Esther. And I was imagining if I, I'm the one God was telling me to go and sacrifice that, that girl if I would. For sure it will take the hand of God. I have to have a, a revelation, a big revelation of who God is. Praise God. Not just a revelation. So we understand that for Abraham to obey God, he had, uh, he, he had a revelation of who God was. That it doesn't matter, he's going to provide. Praise God. And therefore he, God counted him as an obedient man because he was ready to do it. And therefore God provided. Praise God. So Abraham offered a sacrificial obedience. Because he obeyed God. Praise God. It was not just a sacrifice. It was sacrificial. He was ready to do it. Praise the Lord. Uh, we're also going to look at that, uh, David. Uh, in the book of 1 Samuel 17, 45 to 50. Media, you can give us that. All of us know the story of David. Then David said to the Philistine, you come to me with a sword, with a spear, with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the, God of the armies of Israel, whom you have deviled. Praise God. David was ready to lay his life. Praise God. Praise the Lord. He was ready. He was ready to offer a sacrificial obedience, no matter what, no matter the threat. Uh, when you read before, uh, as David was asking what was happening, he first of all asked, Aliuliza, what will be given to the man who is going to kill Goliath? So he had a revelation that there is a reward. Praise God. There is a reward if I killed Goliath. And uh, he had a revelation that God is a deliverer. Praise God. Tell your friend you have to have a revelation for you to have a sacrificial obedience. 
you have to have to have a revelation. Praise the Lord. So David, we will learn that later what happened to all of them. Uh, he saw God as a deliverer. He knew what had happened in the bush. He knew God had delivered him from the bear and from the lion. Praise the Lord. And therefore he knew that he's going to slay the Goliath because of the revelation. Because he wanted to offer a sacrificial obedience to God. Praise God. Uh, let's learn about Daniel. In the book of Daniel 6, 16 to 22. Media, please. So the king gave the command. And they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lion. But the king spoke, saying to Daniel, You are God, whom you serve continually. He will deliver you. Praise God. Uh, it did not matter to Daniel what will happen to him. He was ready to, hope, to offer sacrificial obedience to God. For he knew God is going to deliver him from the mouth of the lion. Praise God. As I was uh, going through this, I learned that Daniel not only knew, not only, not only knew his God, but he knew God is the creator of the mouth of the lion. Praise God. And the creator of the mouth of the lion, he has the power to shut it. Amen. So he had that revelation that God is the creator of the mouth of the lion. So it did not matter what will happen to him. He knew God is going to send an angel. Praise God. And God is going to deliver him. Praise the Lord. So for us even to offer sacrificial obedience, we have to have a revelation. Like Daniel, praise the Lord. And we learned that God delivered him. God delivered him from the mouth of the lion. He sent an angel. Because he's the creator of the mouth of the lion. He created the mouth. We are going to look at uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These are also characters you're going to learn. They offered sacrificial obedience to God. In Daniel, in Daniel 3, 22 to 26. Therefore... Because the king commands, the king's command was ancient, and the furnace exceedingly hot, the frame of the fire killed those men who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Praise the Lord! And th these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down into the bound of the burning, fiery, fiery furnace. Then King, Captain, king Nebuchadnezzar was astonished, and he rose in essence spoke saying to his counselors, Do we, did we cast three men bound in the midst of the fire? They answered to the king, true, O king. Praise God. All of us know that story. And uh, what we can learn from the three men is that the, the three men were ready to die because of their faith in God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. They saw God as a deliverer. They saw God is able to deliver them. And therefore they were ready to have a sacrificial obedience to God in order to, to be delivered. Praise God. And so, one thing I learned from this is that they had a revelation that God is the consuming fire. Praise the Lord. You know that uh, the king and alikuwa mewatisha na moto yake. But you know the Bible says even uh, in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, God sent fire from heaven. Praise God. So God himself is the creator of the fire. So it did not matter to them what is going to happen. They knew God as a consuming fire. Praise the Lord. And we have to have a revelation of who God is. Because to them it did not matter that there will be fire. What matters is that they are going to obey their God. They were ready to sacrifice for God. Praise the Lord. And so we learned from that that God delivered them. God was with them because it's a consuming fire. You remember the story of, uh, of Moses and the burning bush. Oh, when you read the Bible of it... There's over 100 scriptures talking about fire. Praise God. About God is fire. And therefore we have no choice to, we have no reason to fear fire. Praise God. Our God is a consuming fire. And these men had a revelation that God is a consuming fire. And therefore they were ready. And you know when you read that story, uh, when, king, when the king stood, he, say, he asked, did I throw three men in the fire? And now I'm seeing four of them. And you know, God was giving me a revelation that because he's a consuming fire, he lit the fire of Nebuchadnezzar. Praise God. Ali Lamba. Praise God. Fire yake in Lamba yake Nebuchadnezzar because his fire is more strong. Praise God. Remember, hell will be an there will be everlasting fire. Senior. So, God is a consuming fire and they did not fear. And that's why God delivered them. Okay, he sent an angel. But mali walipitia. Moto ya mungu ilikuwa ina, moto ya mungu ilikuwa ina lamba ya kadineza. Praise the Lord. Because God is a consuming fire. God is a consuming fire. It doesn't matter the fire that comes in your life. Praise the Lord. 
Amen. Amen. And therefore God delivered them because of that. The three men were ready to die. And therefore God delivered them because it's a consuming fire. Praise the Lord. So all the people we have talked about, they have one thing in common. There are many more. We talk about Jesus. He sacrificed. Praise the Lord. He had, he had a, a, a sacrificial obedience to God. He was ready to die. He died for us. He went behold. Praise the Lord. Also Paul, he sacrificed and served God. We remember the, the, so the, where we, we went to jail. So many things happened to, to Paul. Praise God. And great things also happened to him because of the sacrificer. And therefore, all these, these, these three men, God did something to them. Praise God. God blessed them, delivered them, and not only that was enough, a new promise was established for every party. Praise God. Let's look at uh, Abraham. When Abraham gave the sacrifice, uh, the Bible says, uh, the Bible says, uh, okay, God made a new covenant for Abraham. If you read that Genesis 28, 1 to 22, 1 to 15, down there you find that uh, you find that God made a new covenant. He told Abraham, I'm going to bless you because I've seen your sacrificial obedience. Praise God. I'm going to make you a great man. I'm going to bless you with many children. Praise God. Because he sacrificed to God. And also, God, he saw God as a deliverer. God was a deliverer to Abraham. And God was also, uh, to Daniel, to Daniel, God was a deliverer. And something happened. Abraham, God was a provider. To Daniel, God was a, a deliverer, and he's also he was promoted. So there was palace for him. There are the, the, the four peace for those people. There was provision for Abraham. There was palace for Daniel. You remember what happened? The Bible says when you read, when you read down there, it says Daniel was promoted. Um, okay, let me just. For Daniel, the king issued a decree that in every part of the kingdom, people must fear and reverence the God of Daniel. And he also prospered. Praise God. Because he offered a sacrificial obedience to God, he prospered. For Abraham, he was provided for. And also a new covenant was established. For Daniel, he prospered. And for Shandrach, Meshach, and Abednego, uh, the Bible says a, a new degree was issued by Nebuchadnezzar that nobody was to say anything against their God. And the Bible says they were promoted. Praise God. They were promoted because they went behold. They sacrificed behold their measure. Praise God. They did not fear any threat. So they were, prom they were promoted. For Abraham, he was provided for. For, for Daniel, he prospered. And for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were promoted. And for Daniel, and for, for David, the Bible says, he was moved from the bush to the palace. Praise God. Palace, from the bush to the palace. Praise God. Because he obeyed, he was ready to sacrifice his life. He was ready to offer a sacrificial obedience to God. Uh, and therefore, okay, the Bible says when he killed, when David killed, killed when de when, uh, for David, when he killed God, uh, he was called by the king to stay with him in the palace and was given a high rank in the army. Praise God. And from the bush, he went to the palace. And later what happened? He became the king. Praise God. Because he, op he offered us sacrificial obedience to God. Praise God. And for Daniel, he prospered. Praise God. The Bible says, for Daniel the king issued a degree that in every part of the kingdom, people must fear and their friends, the God of Daniel. And he also prospered. That is Daniel 6.28. Praise God. So we can see four of them, all of them, the four of them. So many things happened to them. But they did not just come. They were ready to sacrifice. For Abraham there was provision. Praise the Lord. For Daniel there was promotion. Uh, for Daniel, there was prosperity. For Shandrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the Bible said, they says, a decree was issued by Nebuchadnezzar that nobody was to say anything against their God. And the Bible says they, pro they were promoted. Praise God. If you go and read well, you see that they were promoted and they also prospered. Uh, so for us, for, uh, what we can learn from them is that for us, in order for us to experience open heavens, it doesn't matter the area that you are seeking God for, whether in relationship, in finances, promotion, the place of your work, an open home to get a baby, marriage, ministry, whichever area that you desire. 
I'm going to share four points that you should do. Are uh, three points that we should do for us to, to be ready to offer sacrificial obedience and to have our whole heaven, heaven opened. Praise the Lord. So number one, you must have a revelation of who God is in your situation. Praise God. Know who God is in your situation. If you want God to heal you, have a revelation that God is a healer. Praise the Lord. Have a revelation of who God is in your life. If you want a promotion, have a revelation that God is a promoter. Praise the Lord. If you want God for finances, have a revelation that God is a provider. Like for, Abr for Abraham. Whatever situation that you are in, first of all, you have to have a revelation. Praise the Lord. And number two, you are supposed to have to make a deliberate choice. A deliberate choice. Tell your friend, tell your friend a deliberate choice. Yes, it has to come out of you. When you read all this story, you find that all these people, they were ready. They were not going back again. Praise the Lord. That I'm going to obey God, no matter the threat, because I know God. I have a revelation of who he is. Praise the Lord. So you have to make a deliberate choice to offer a sacrifice, a sacrificial obedience, no matter the threat. Praise the Lord. And number, number, number three, number one is have a revelation. Number two, make a deliberate choice to offer a sacrificial obedience, no matter the threat. Number three, ask God to help you to obey his voice. Praise all. Praise the Lord. It's only the Lord who can help you. You cannot do it by yourself. Praise the Lord. They were not ready to ask God for help. You know, they were humans. They were shaking. Yes, the fire was there. But they saw God behold, praise the Lord. They saw God behold the fire. They saw God, be, Daniel saw God behold the, the, the den of the lion, praise the Lord. Uh, Daniel, uh, David saw God behold the Goliath. You have to see God behold, praise the Lord. And then God is going to help you. So number three, ask God to help you to obey his voice. And the voice comes from our servants. We are taught, we are taught, we are taught from here to do so many things. You are taught to fast for 40 days. Now, praise God. Those are the simple instructions you just tell God to help, to help you to obey. Praise God. And when you obey the, the instructions from the altar, from the servants of God, you are able to, you are able to, God is able to help you. Praise the Lord. So, um, I'm saying that you ask God to help you. And you follow, you, you obey God by attending the forums of the church. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, remember in 2019, there might be storms. But the how of the storm is in the boat. Praise the Lord. So don't worry. You should not worry. He has the power to calm the storm if we call upon him. Praise the Lord. You know, as I was reading the story of the Jesus in the boat and the disciples, the, the reason they feared is because they did not know the how the Once it is a storm, alikuwa now. Praise God. The Bible says uh, God created everything. Even the storm he created it. And if they had the revelation that God can, God is the creator of the storm. And Jesus created everything with God. Because in the beginning, the Bible says in Genesis, God said, let us create. Let us do it. Praise God. So they had a revelation that God is, a, God is able to come. Uh, if they had a revelation that the, the, the creator of the storm was in the boat, they could not have feared. Praise God. And this morning the Lord is asking us to know that in 2019, yes, there may be storms, but the creator of the storm is in the boat. Praise the Lord. And he has a power to calm every boat, every storm in our, in our here. Praise God. And so this morning I want just to share a short testimony as I encourage you. Uh, okay, I've said I'm, I was married for, I've been married for 20, 12 years um, by Kimani and he's a great man, he's a mentor to me. Uh, he's a pastor, a priest in my house. I say that with sincerity. Praise God. Yeah, and then for a while we, okay, after some times we decided to have a baby and it was not possible. And those girls who were waiting for God to give them a baby, they know it's not easy. They know the burden. You gonjo, ni ungonjo behold measure. I be ni mungu tu. Praise the Lord. And so uh, we were trusting God for a baby for like three years and uh, we were really praying and trusting God. We are not going to like uh, adopt a child. We know we are blessed. We know we are blessed. Praise God. You have to have a revelation of who God is. And so, uh, we prayed and really prayed. And in the year 20, 2012, from this altar, I received a word. Uh, that was February. 
Uh, and we are going through a forum. Do you know, attend forums in church. You never know. And I got a prophetic word that that year, 20, 2012, Itaisha, God will have blessed me. And in the spiritual, I caught the word. Praise the Lord. I caught it in the spiritual. And I ran with it. Uh, March came, nothing happened. Mienzi kaindelea, nothing happened. Uh, but one thing I knew, God will do it. God will do it. Praise God. Yes, kwa sababu, akisema, the matter is settled. Akisema, the matter is settled. It doesn't matter who, it doesn't matter what is happening. It doesn't matter. Praise God. And so December came. And because I knew God and said, by the hand of the here, the hand of the, he will do it. It doesn't matter whether it was July or June or whichever. But I knew God had given me a word. By the end of the year, he will give, me a, he will give us a baby. I, I took that word and I, I ran with it. And December came that first. And, okay, as our norm, I wanted to do a short a, a prayer and fasting section. So, you are to be that first, I said. Now, God, you said that first. You said this year and the year is ending today. Praise God. The year is ending today. Nothing has happened. Remember, so I don't know what happens. So I don't know. I'm just there. So I decided, let me take myself to the clinic by faith. So I went. My husband was working that day. Me, I'm learning. I'm, I was trusting the word of the Lord. So I went to the clinic and the test was done. And the, man, the, the one who was doing the test came to me. I was like, oh, she. Oh she, okay. Nika, nika ma na fikiria sitaki yo mimba. <laughs> so nika ma maybe kama sitaki. Nifa nyeki, nifa nyeki. So it was like, you are praying that. And I was like, eh? Yeah, Umese mani ni? <laughs> Umese mani? Eh? Yeah? Oshi zake ni mwacha na zopo. It's like, so like, to me, okay. So yeah, okay. He gave me the report. Okay, it was like, oh she. Maybe come and attack a kuto nito. But me, I was going there by faith. Tell your friend faith. Faith. 31st, 20, 20, 2012. So he told me, oh my friend. He told me, you are pregnant. You are three weeks pregnant. Oh my Jesus. I walked out like a soldier. Amen. Praise God. Ninwacha now she's like, okay, siku, siku walk literally, but I was like. Praise God. Even walking there, it was by faith. Praise the Lord. So I had walked by faith. And so when I came out of that place, I was like, God, you have done it for me. The year has not ended. The word of God has been true. Praise the Lord. And today I have a beautiful, beautiful queen girl called Esther. To the glory of God. To the glory of God. Amen. So woman, if you are here and you are trusting God for a baby, God is coming for you. I have a revelation that you have said it. It has been settled. It has been settled. Run with the word. Carry the word. And run with it. Doesn't matter whether it's that first of December, whether it is July, doesn't matter. So long as said this day of hope and heavens, receive it, run with it, and it shall be manifest in your life. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Give God a good clap. Amen. 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 So what we are saying this morning, that we should have a revelation. If I had time, I could share so many testimonies. So many testimonies. One time I was staying with my sister. She had just come from high school. And uh, she had really performed very well. She had a hair in her uh, grades. And so, because I'm, okay, I'm the firstborn of uh, five. Um, um, we are four girls and one man. And one uh, son. And so, being a firstborn, my sister was the lastborn. And so, when she finished high school, she had really fast well. She had a uh, But I knew it would be a little burden for us to carry her through the university. So, I knew God will make a way for her. Praise God. And that year, a chance came that he should apply for a scholarship in the U.S. And because being a firstborn, you carry the burden of your family. Tell your friend, carry the burden of your family. Yes, I knew if she prospered, hata ikuja kuniomba fair. Praise God. And so what I did, I just took the burden and when she applied, I prayed and I stood on the gap. And uh, she got the scholarship 
Uh, before she got, okay, she had applied. So I knew if God opens a door for her, she's going to make it. And uh, things will never be the same again. Praise the Lord. And so I prayed. I stood on the gap. We prayed. Okay, that time I was like... Praise God. So I knew if God is going to make a way for her, uh, things will be better for our family and for her. And I prayed. And uh, in 2009, September, my sister, God opened every door. Praise God. He provided for the bus fare, for the ticket. He provided for everything, for the shopping, for everything. And my sister flew to the U.S. Praise God. And today we talk she's an engineer. She is an engineer. She is finishing her master's in engineering. Praise God. And the Wazungus look for her to work for her. Like the other day she was in, here in Kenya and the, she was just working from here. She was working from here. They were sending her dollars because they are looking for her. Praise God. What am I saying? You, you have to have a revelation of who God is. Who God is in your life and in your family. If they prosper, you are going to prosper. Praise God. They are going to be a blessing to your family. Praise God. So this morning, the Lord is asking us to make a delivery choice. To, to, to have a revelation of who he is and what he's able to do. To have a revelation that he has the power to make things, to turn things around for us. To make our way in the wilderness. To change every situation. Yes, the word has been declared that this is the year of open heavens. But we have to have a, we have to have a revelation that God is able. It doesn't matter the situation. Praise the Lord. And so this morning, the Lord is asking us to believe in him. It doesn't matter why we have come to church this morning. It doesn't matter the, the situation that you are in. Remember, that if us has not reached. Aijafika kama yangu. Praise God. There's still time and God can make a way for you. Praise the Lord. So I want us to stand up. And we are going to tell God to help us. This year, we want to tap from the servants of God. We want to receive. We want to walk and have a testimony come 2019, the end of December, that God has done this for us. Praise the Lord. So let's just go before the Lord and tell God to help us, to make a delivery choice for us. Lord, I thank you. I bless you. Thank you for your word this morning. Thank you for your love, oh Jesus. Thank you, my Father, for your grace, oh Jesus. Thank you for your word is true, dear Lord. Your word is true, Jehovah. Lord, you have told us the year of hope and heavens, Lord. We trust in you. We trust in you, Lord, that God will have a revelation. We will have a, we will make a delivery choice to walk, Lord, to trust in you, Jesus. Behold, Mesha, in the name of Jesus Christ, our God. We love you. We exalt you, Jesus. We magnify you this morning. There is no one like you, our daddy. We have a revelation that you are a deliverer. You are a provider. You are a promoter. Jehovah. Lord, you are a healer for those who are trusting you for healing. Lord, you are the king who never fails. Jehovah. We exalt you, Jehovah, this morning. We declare you reign in our lives. Father, there are women who are trusting you for children this morning. You did it for me, my father. You are able to open our womb. You are able, Lord, to give them a baby in the name of Jesus. We trust in you, dear Lord, that we will connect nectar, Father, in this altar and the word of God that has been spoken here and we will run with it. We will run with it, Lord. We will ask a deliberate choice. Lord, we will make a deliberate choice to follow you and to trust in you. Lord, you will be our healer. Lord, you will be our provider. 2019, we shall not be ashamed. 2019, Lord, we shall not go down. We are going up in the name of Jesus. Promotion is coming on our way. Deliverance is coming on our way. Healing is coming on our way. Jehovah, in the name of Jesus. Our oh, Father, we bless you. We exhort you this morning. We honor you, Lord. We thank you because we have examples from the Bible. People, oh, my Father, we are ready to sacrifice. We are ready to obey you, Jehovah. No matter the situation, no matter the circumstances, Lord, no matter the threat, they saw you as a consuming fire. They saw you, Lord, as a God who is more than able. They saw you, dear Lord, as a great I am. And therefore, this morning, we can learn from them. My Father, to obey you sacrificially dear Lord help us we pray Lord thank you Father hallelujah our God we bless you thank you Lord because you are minister to us this morning thank you because there is a woman here who is trusting you Lord for a baby my God and my father you did it for me and my God I know the pain of it Lord but this morning I know God you are able Lord our father I pray that you can help them to have a grasp of who you are Jehovah and then when you speak from their altar that is what you do oh God the deal is settled my God father may you extend their pain may you give them may you provide for them Lord may you open those wombs in the name of Jesus. Be 
because you did it for me my God and you shall do it again and again Lord we bless you this morning for your word is mighty your word is great dear Lord your father we can lean on you day and night Lord we know you are mighty you deliver us from fire you heal us our diseases Lord you provide for us dear Lord you will walk for, with us dear father we acknowledge your faithfulness we acknowledge your love dear father be exalted my God thank you for ministering to us and thank you for hearing our prayers for we know out of this heart Lord we are walking out ready Lord to face you and to offer a sacrificial obedience to you in the name of Jesus because we know we are behold you are behold measure my father we acknowledge your love and your greatness dear father be exalted and be lifted of our father in Jesus name we pray amen amen give a better clap to Jesus amen 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 uh, let's have our seat. I forgot to acknowledge my bishop who is my spiritual father and mom. <laughs> I forgot. I'm not used to here. <laughs> so you forgive me for, help, for giving us the chance even to come and speak as the, as the, cornerstone, the cornerstone Sunday. Thank you mom and, and dad. Thank you pastors and for supporting us and being with us. May God bless you. Amen. <laughs>